good people and welcome back to uh, a new video so i figured why not just start the video off with a physique update real quick but first i'm gonna go ahead and step on the scale We are 74.2. Let me get you back up here. So what I'm actually gonna do is that I'm gonna show my physique right now, uh, and I'm gonna take pictures of me, how I looked starting this cut, uh, and I can probably show a little bit of different pictures and stuff like that. And me posing right now so you can see the, the difference. So I've basically doing a cut for 16 weeks now. Uh, it's going super, super fast. Uh, and I'm actually super happy with the results. But I'm not done yet. I just wanted to record like a kind of update at 16 week mark. Let's go ahead and check out the physique. Boom. Okay, so here you go. You can see that the abs are coming in super sharp now and you can already start to see that and also to show you the legs as well they are coming in hamstrings so now we can talk a little bit more about this guy right here me 16 weeks ago i was overweight i was not healthy at all and i just ate way 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 too much food. In this video right here, I'm gonna talk about my experiences doing this cut, what I did, what I did differently during previous cuts, because I've I've done cuts before, but I've never looked like how I look right now. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about that. I'll post a picture right here on how I looked on the last cut, a year difference. I'll talk about what I did differently um, during this cut and that cut. So you guys can learn from my mistakes. I'm gonna show you guys the first tip right now. If you saw my last video, you probably know what this is. We about that sugar-free jello wife, I'll tell you that. So what I got is that I got some sugar-free jello. I would usually have this as a snack throughout the day, but I just feel like having it right now. <laughs> and then I got this one right here, which is low calorie or sugar-free vanilla sauce. I'm obviously just gonna go ahead and scale out a little bit right here. Why don't you look at that? 102 grams. Okay. Oh Lord, you made a mercy. And when I'm telling you this is good, that. Oh my God, Oscar. Do you ever wear clothes? I will put them on right now. Absolutely hate this, but this is the difference between a bulk and a cut. Like, I have to buy a new pair of pants, but if you ask me, it is worth it though. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, eat this jello right here. Oh, As I said, I'm going to share some tips and tricks with you guys that I did on this cut. And we're going to start off with the first one right now. So grab your healthy snacks, sit down and enjoy this one, guys. I'm going to say it again, I am still going to cut for a little bit uh, longer, but I just wanted to make like a, a physique update uh, kind of video for 16 weeks. So the first thing I did is obviously being in a caloric deficit, guys. You have to be in a caloric deficit in order to lose uh, weight or fat. And how big of a caloric deficit I've been in is 500 calories. So I've eaten uh, one, I started off pretty, pretty slow. I started off with 2,300 calories, I believe. And then I ate that uh, for like two, three weeks and then my weight would plateau and then I would decrease the calories by like 100 uh, to 200 calories. Uh, and then my weight would fluctuate down slowly again. That is basically the approach I did on this cut is that I went super slow. Normally you would just do like three months, but I'm already done four months. Uh, but the thing is that I had way too much body fat on me when I started out. I had to work way harder or and way longer in order to lose that fat. But try also to keep as much muscle as possible, which I have done. I haven't lost any strength at all. I've gained strength. I don't know what I'm talking about uh, and I'm gonna share that with you guys uh, through Throughout this video but I'm just gonna go ahead and sit here eat my jello real quick do some work and then I'll be back with you guys for another couple of tips okay so guys another tip is that on my last cut I went down way 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 too fast so you can see how I looked and I ended up looking skinny fat and that's not what we want at all so what I did on this cut is that I kept my carbohydrates way higher as I said before I got rudely interrupted <laughs> not not uh, Bruh! As I said, I try to keep my carbohydrates super high on this uh, cut right here or as high as possible while I keep losing weight. 
And I feel like you just have to kind of like experiment with your body what feels best for you if your body works better on carbohydrates or if it works better on uh, fats. And my body works better on carbohydrates. <laughs> so that's the other thing. Don't, don't do it so fast that you turn out being skinny fat. You do not want that at all. So you're probably gonna think, Oscar, you're an absolute food addict. Mm. Oh my God, Oscar, are you eating bread? Are you eating bread? Oh my God! <laughs> also one thing that I really wanna touch on that is super, super important is that stick to a diet which you enjoy because that is the most important thing. You obviously are in a caloric deficit. You are still able to eat bread. This is 70 calories for one slice of bread. It's like 12 grams of carbohydrates or something like that. So if you count your macros, you can still eat that. You can still eat that even though you don't count your macros. Like, there's not a bad or good food in a sense. Obviously, whole foods is going to be better. But if you're not competing or anything like that and you just want to lose weight, what are you talking about? You can eat bread. Hi, bro. Just make sure that you set up your macros, you stick to a diet that is sustainable, something you enjoy. You can still eat chocolate every day. You can try to fit, if you really like something, try to fit it into your calories, daily calories. And why, why I'm saying with food aren't healthy slash unhealthy is that unhealthy food is typically burgers, uh, fries, and stuff like that. But that is because it's high in fat. If you have fries, it's gonna be fried and stuff like that. But if you have a potato and you boil it, it's probably gonna be one of the best things you can eat because the fat is gone. So it's so much more volume because the fat is gone, right? So that is basically why people call it unhealthy foods because it's a lot of fat. And fat is the micronutrients with the most amount of calories. It's nine calories per gram of fat. And protein and carbohydrates is four. So that is why foods higher in fat is obviously gonna be way higher in calories. So now you know that, but guys, I'm just gonna continue, inhale this one. So it is a bit later, I am having my pre-workout meal. It is probably gonna get uh, dark soon. The super bad thing is that we lost the power. Basically, the whole town, like there's like 40,000 people without power right now, and I am one of them. <laughs> and I have to wait for my brother to come back from work to bring the car so I can go to the gym. Uh, but that's basically the plan. I'm gonna have that pre-workout meal, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. I'll bring you guys along to the gym, and then we can talk about some tips and tricks to get yourself shredded like the Lord. You go to hell because it has to be a sim looking that good. Oh, so that was my brother driving right there. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and pick up Ask finally, and we're gonna get a solid shoulder and back session in today. We're at the gym right now. I got zero energy, so we got this, um, what is it, like energy drink shot or, or whatever, like pre-workout shot. Yeah, so, so I got that, but I also got this rain right here. Lemon haze is gonna be absolutely sick. And I've tasted this one before, and I know it's gonna taste like absolutely shit. Or at least the aftertaste. Dude. Hey, yo. You guys, so we took our pre-workout. I got way more energy right now. It already like went so bad. But we are gonna do uh, shoulders and back today. I'm gonna start off with back. Uh, so we're gonna start off with some pull-ups. And then we are gonna do a lot of other back pieces. So you're probably gonna see it in the montage because I'm just gonna make a quick montage out of it. And for the next tips I wanna sh teach you guys is that even though you're cutting, don't think that you have to change your workout or anything like that. Keep on pushing, train hard, because that is important. So if you're used to doing like six reps or if you're used to doing like super heavy for four reps, continue doing that. Don't just do 15 to 20 reps just because you're cutting and using, oh, I'm cutting as an excuse to lift lightweight. So try to lift as heavy as you can and just lift yourself to the limit. But we're gonna do the workout montage right now and I will talk to you guys mid-set. Okay guys, we are basically done with the workout. It's looking good, look at that arm, bruh. I haven't even trained arm and I'm standing here flexing arms. <laughs> guys, we had to cut it uh, a bit short because I have to pick up my brother real quick. Uh, but hopefully you got what I said, is that um, 
even though you're cutting it's super important that you keep your lifts as high as possible for me i still try to get one rep maxes and stuff like that even though i was cutting and it worked super good i can show you a clip of me doing three plates and my body weight was like 78 kg and i've already been cutting for like three months um so i gained 10 kilograms on my bench press even though i cut uh, a lot of fat so uh, i will see you guys when i get back home Hey, yo, look at this dude. I got way too much energy in the morning. Come on, guys. What we're gonna do right now, we're gonna step on a scale. Guys, we are 73.4. That is a new low weigh in. Let's go, baby. So, I'm definitely happy with that. Super happy, actually. Uh, the cut is still going great. I'm still eating 1,800 calories. And I'm doing cardios like three to four times a week. And I'm looking pretty dry in the morning as well. I can see that it's coming in slowly and steady. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to jump in the shower because your boys need to get clean. And then um, I'm going to make some breakfast. And then we can talk about uh, some other tips and tricks to end of the video. That is basically what this video is about. Just me showing you guys and teaching you guys basically what I did uh, in order to achieve the physique I have right now, what I did wrong previously, and what I did to change that. What up? I need to make a bazooka. That's what I need, but guys, we are going to make ourselves some breakfast. Right? I'm actually not feeling that hungry right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do five grams of creatine and do one scoop of this uh, strawberry protein powder right here. This is absolutely amazing, by the way. <laughs> He's dressing. I said, hey, uh huh, uh -huh. I'm gonna start vlogging with this angle right here. Yo, what's up, guys? Oh, baby, baby. Oops, I did it again. So, as I said, I got this protein powder right here for breakfast because I don't feel that hungry right now. So I figured why not just save the meal for later today. And that also is one more topic. And that is basically sometimes I can just like eat twice a day. It doesn't really come down to like how many meals for me. It comes down to how much calories. Because you always hear like, oh, how many meals do you have a day? And people are like, oh yeah, I got four. Oh, you step it up to six. Like you don't really know the calories. You just know the meals. But I'm more into like calories. So that's why I can like eat two bigger meals a day. Or I can eat like three a medium. Or I can eat like four small meals meals and stuff like that so that's how I kind of set it up so now I'm not hungry at all so I'm just gonna do this protein shake right here strawberry by the way and it is absolutely amazing I'll tell you this I used to be a chocolate guy but mm -mm, strawberry is the thing I'm telling you right now so we're gonna drag everything I've said and we're gonna come to this conclusion right here okay so what I did wrong on my previous cut uh, and what I changed during this cut right here is meals uh, and calories basically my last cut I think I went down to like 1300 calories and I did like an hour cardio every single day and that will just it will make you skinny fat I'll post a picture up here how it looked it didn't really look like that bad, but compared to how I look now, that is nothing at all. And it's basically almost just a year between us. At that time, I thought to myself, okay, I'm just gonna have to like cut out all the sugar. I'm gonna have to cut out all the diet drinks. I'm gonna have to cut out everything basically and only eat like broccoli and chicken and rice and like tilapia and stuff like that. For me, that's like the total wrong approach. If you're competing, yeah, sure, like, go ahead do what you will have to do but that's a whole other ball game if you want to get super lean like i'm able to be in super super lean and i know i'm gonna get like super super low in body fat still eating what i'm eating now and guys i'm eating chocolate i'm eating cake i'm eating donuts you all see that i eat whatever i want as long as it fits my macros and that's the point of this like your diet has to be enjoyable because if you don't enjoy your diet it's not going to be sustainable right and the reason why this cut is going so long is that I'm doing a more slow approach. I don't want to lose too much muscle. I want to keep my strength and I want to lose as much fat as possible while holding on to that muscle. And that's basically what I've done. So as you can see, I'll pop up the picture right here uh, on how I looked uh, when I started this uh, cut right here. And my approach was like, okay, you want to know what? I don't care how long it takes. I'm just going to do it slowly and controllably. So that basically means that you being patient. That's that's basically it. Like, it's no rush at all. Like, it, it's so worth it. And what I did is that I did a dirty bulk. Um, 
So I just ate, I ate, I gained way too much body fat and I'm never gonna do that again. I'm not gonna like bulk past my abs anymore. Like I'm gonna do the same thing when I'm bulking as when I'm cutting right now, slow and controlled. And also for the gym guys, it is so, so important. I cannot stress this enough because um, this is one of the most important factors because when a lot of people start cutting, they're like, okay, I'm not going to be able to train as I used to, blah, blah, blah. Guys, I haven't had a bad workout at all during my cut. It's because it's a lot to do with the mental game. If you're telling yourself, okay, I'm not going to be able to lift that because I'm cutting, you're not going to be able to do that because you already told your brain you're not going to be able to do it. Like, do you see the problem here? It's basically the placebo effect. Yes, it's a fact. You are going to lose some muscle mass during your cut and it's totally normal to uh, decrease some strength during the cut as well. If you work hard enough, you can be able to keep that muscle mass. So that is why it's important to lift heavy as well. If you totally change your workout program and, and stuff like that, your body is gonna be like, okay, this is something new. And it's gonna be like, okay, I don't need that strength anymore. I got low battery. I'm gonna change the battery real quick. Oh. This is my passion, right? And I enjoy it. I don't want to do this if I don't enjoy it. Like, if you don't enjoy something, change it, you know? That was basically uh, this video right here. It was more like a talking video because I just wanted to share you, share with you guys what I did and stuff like that during my previous cut and what I did because I did it so wrongly. Like, I, I didn't eat anything. I just did way too much cardio and I just cut out all my carbs and stuff like that. But now I'm keeping my carbs as high as possible while I keep losing weight. So again guys, thank you so much for watching it. And if you have any uh, new video suggestions, go ahead and comment them down below. I would really appreciate that and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.